Namaskar. My name is Shankar Subra Chaudhuri and I am an intern at EBI Advocate and currently I am pursuing LLB second semester from the University of Badwan main campus. Today we shall discuss about servant versus independent contractor in the chapter of vicarious liability under tort. So let's start. So before discussing about who is a servant and who is an independent contractor under the chapter of vicarious liability in tort, let's know what is vicarious liability. The term vicarious has derived from the Latin term vicarious means substitute. In generally, a person is responsible for his own wrongful acts and does not suffer or incur any loss if the act has not been done by that person. So generally a person is free from the liability for the act which he has not done. But in vicarious liability, it is the legal responsibility of one person for the act done by the another. That means a person is responsible or in another terms is liable for the act done by another person. Now to constitute vicarious liability there are three main elements. Number one a relation there must be a relationship between the employer and the employee. There must be a tortious act of negligence committed and the act must be done within the course of employment. Let's see now. Here we see there are the major relationships that set up to constitute a vicarious liability and then comes master and servant, partners in a partnership form, principal and agent, company and its director, owner and the independent contractor. But today we will discuss about the difference between the servant and the independent contractor. Now see what is a servant. So in tort a servant is a person employed by another person to do a work under the direction and the control of his master and the master is completely liable for any tortious activity if it is done by the servant but in that case an independent in a, for an independent contractor the master is not liable for any tortious activity if it is done by that independent contractor so this is the basic difference between the servant and an independent contractor in case of servant let's see the differences between the independent contractor and servant in case of servant, the master is liable for the tortious activity. In case of independent contractor, the employer cannot be held liable. The servant serves as a contract of service, whereas the independent contractor serves as a contract for service. Servant is instructed as well as directed by the master to complete the task. The master also directs the servant the manner in which way the task should be completed but in case of independent contractor the contractor can only be con instructed by the employer and it cannot be directed or the employer cannot tell him the manner in which he should carry away his task a servant does not have autonomy in performing his duties whereas a contractor has autonomy in performing and as well as exercising his duties. So this is the difference between the servant and independent contractor. Now in case of Morgan versus Incorporated Central Council, the plaintiff while he was on a lawful visit to defendant's premises fell down from an open lift shaft and got injured. The defendant has entrusted the job of keeping the lift safe and in proper order to certain independent contractors. It was held that for the act is of negligence on the part of the independent contractor in not keeping the lift in same condition the defendants could not be made liable. So this is the difference between the independent contractor and servant. So thank you for watching this video. I hope it will give you a basic clear clarification between a servant and an independent contractor and also it will give you clear clarification about what is vicarious liability. Thank you for watching this video. Have a good day.